So far, you have lost five housemates. The end result is to win 200k. It's such a huge amount of money. I'm competitive, I love winning. I'm not doing it to make friends. I'm looking at getting back at a couple of people that have done wrong by me. The battle lines have been drawn, big brother. I don't want to see Sandra go. The game of Big Brother is never fair. It's gone way out of hand. And I'm happy to go home tomorrow knowing that I don't have to hang around people like you. Almost everybody's lost their minds, Big Brother. Get me back my soul! I just want to win. Welcome to Three Wild on the Gold Coast. Here's your host, Sonia Kruger. everyone to a very special Big Brother Live eviction, or should I say evictions? That's right, there will be two evictions tonight, one real and one fake. The nominee with the least votes to save them will be evicted for good, but the most popular nominee will be fake evicted and escorted to a secret location. There they will be met by pyjama aficionado and Bert Newton's bestie, former housemate Ben from Brisbane. <laughs> How we've missed Ben. He's going to join me on stage in just a moment and the deception will play out shortly. But first, let's take a look at how tonight's six nominees fell from favour. The housemates facing eviction this week are... Lawson. 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 With 12 points. I find him very condescending. He speaks to people in a disgusting manner. Shut we need up, to go closer. I said shut up. Did you just tell me to shut up? I did. With 10 points. Sandra. 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 She takes everything super sensitively. The moment that you say that you don't want to be here, you don't deserve to be here. With 9 points. Jason. 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 Do you think people think that I'm too gossipy? Lawson told them. Yes. <laughs> I heard the whole thing. With seven points. Priya. Priya. If I give Priya five points, I'm hoping that will bring her up enough to push Travis out. The nomination is accepted. Oh. With six points. Sam. 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 Sam has the tendency to let his jokes go too far. He's like a schoolyard bully. How are you feeling, man? Great. Honestly? Not great. Also, with six points, Travis. Try being up for eviction five weeks straight. No one coming up to you and giving you a reason why you're up for eviction. And then tell me how you feel emotionally. Last week, there was virtually nothing separating the bottom four. So let's have a look at what the voting looks like right now. Ooh, OK. Down the bottom, in the red, 7%. But just above the 9%, still fairly tight. But way up the top on 36% is a very popular housemate who's going to be evicted tonight. But remember, it's a fake. All right. Voting lines close at 7.45pm Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time, which means you don't have long. You decide the outcome for tonight, but there's only one way to do it, and that's by voting. To save Sandra, call 1902 or SMS Sandra to 199 
to save Travis. Call 1902 or SMS Travis to 1995599. To save Jason, call 1902 or SMS Jason to 1995599. Or vote on Facebook. To save Lawson, call 1902 or SMS Lawson to 1995599. To save Priya, call 1902 or SMS Priya to 1995599. To save Sam, call 1902 or SMS Sam to 1995599. Or vote on Facebook. He was hilarious. He's also one of the most unique individuals I know. Please welcome back to the Big Brother stage, Ben from Brisbane. Last year, Ben, Big Brother pulled the wool over your eyes with a fake eviction. How did you feel when it happened to you? Well, I love a good twist, but I must, <laughs> but I must admit that it did throw me quite a lot because y- 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 you think you're going and, and you're okay with that, you've worked through all of that, and then I remember going through the door and one of the ninjas grabbed me. And well, that can be disconcerting at the best of times. Look, I was kind of grateful, but I was kind of scared. <laughs> and and, and he, he grabbed me and he said, shush, and he said, and nicely he nicely. did. And he said, all will be revealed. And then I got taken in, to, it was the presidential That's suite. That's right. But it was a double eviction. Remember how, mm-hmm. it was when Matt went home? Mm-hmm. And I, I thought that was just the holding area while Before Matt... Before you actually yeah. left. Yeah. So I was just really calm and just having a chat. I was looking for mints and water. And then you popped on the TV, remember? That's right. <laughs> and yeah. told you. So fill us in, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, we've missed you. Now, fill us in on Big Brother's plans for you tonight. Oh, okay. So I have like a secret mission. Mm. Yeah. So w- what's going to happen is someone gets fake evicted tonight. Yes. And then <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, they go into the, the sanctuary. Yes. And then I get to uh, hang out with them. Okay. And uh, so is it... <laughs> Lucky then. When you say hang, <laughs> hang out with them... No, wish they'd gone home. Is this... Is this big giving them an advantage in the game, do you think, by doing this, by putting you in there with them? Uh, well, I came eight, so maybe not. <laughs> good point, good point. I don't know. Um, yeah, well, yeah, I've got some good homespun advice. You might be able to give them some tips. Yeah. And, and who would you like to see fake evicted tonight? Oh, well... Um, if it's Lawson, yep. yeah, uh, I, uh, I am a bit of a magic geek. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with oh, magic. Okay. okay, so that would be good. Um, and if it's, uh, if it's uh, J- uh, Jason, <laughs> yeah, I... I I'm, well, <laughs> There's no big brother on cut. <laughs> I'm joking, he's got a partner. No. Um, oh, and then if it's, if it's uh, Travis, yes. I, I, I'd, I'd like to try and smooth out that rough diamond. Smooth, smooth, oh. those, smooth those edges. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, I don't know. What is that a lie? What do you think? Very good, very good, Ben. Yeah. I wish Ben luck, everybody. It's time for you to head to the house. Okay. Can I, can I say, you look stunning. Oh, You Betty. look absolutely stunning. Oh, Make some noise for Ben. Thank you. Oh, good luck. Ben. Let's go back to the house now, though, where it's the morning after the picnic gone wrong and the dust is yet to settle. 
The two newcomers, Leo and Marina, are the first housemates up this morning. A Leo shave takes a little longer than most and doesn't involve his face. So I'll start. Sure. And apologise for yelling at you the way I did the other night mm -hmm. because I personally am embarrassed for losing my cool. Lawson and Aisha are doing Big Brother's dirty laundry and airing theirs. I don't know, there's obviously still underlying things here. The last time they talked was on the weekend and it was a screaming match. Do not come to me while I'm trying to have a civil conversation with Ryan. I don't feel like it's a civil conversation. Yeah, everyone everyone just relax. Relax. I'm not. Was it not civil? Yeah, everyone just relax. Why then snap, point in my face, get right up in my grill, go to throw your wine at me, start swearing at me. I didn't throw it at you, but no. I wanted to. The fact that you came up while I was trying to no. have a grown conversation, while I was having a conversation that wasn't anything to do with you. You're saying that I like to get a, get a kick out of people, right? Mm -hmm. which, which, is, which you're saying that, that at this point, I came over to stir the pot and push your buttons. You, you, I admit that I do that mm -hmm. in this house, mm -hmm. but... With last, that, on that night, mm -hmm. I was not doing that, and I did not do that, and you took it way too far. You yeah. swore, you handled yeah. yourself terribly, you showed everybody a side of you that is ridic ridiculous, mm -hmm. right? And you apologised yesterday to everyone but, but me. you, exactly, yeah. because I have an issue with you. I'm apologising so to them what... that they had to see that side. I you know you. what, Loss? I'm 22 years old. I You're 23, sleep on it, Han, sleep on it. Sleep on you and your magic. Wow. You know, at the end of the day, I'm going to bring it up. At the end of the day, I, I don't agree with what you and Kat are doing to your girlfriend on the outside. And I, and I think I feel so strongly about this because I've wanted to talk to you about it because you're my friend. But who am I to tell you what to do? I'm not your mum, like you said. I can't tell you what to do. You have not kissed Kat, OK? You haven't cheated on your girlfriend at all. But there's feelings there, and I think it's coming from both ways. And that that's emotional. And that's I feel sorry for your girlfriend to have to sit there and see that. Yeah, I understand that, and I know that. Like, I have. And I know my I can see sometimes that you probably beat yourself up about it or. But whatever. you, you like, don't know what my situation is on the outside. Exactly, I don't know. I've only got the information that's in front of my eyes, okay? That there is another girl on the outside mm -hmm. who doesn't have a say in this situation. There's also a fully grown woman in here who has genuine feelings. Like, genuine feelings for you and I see your feelings develop but I see you having this battle in your head like oh, you know there's two I've got two women in this picture and I've got like a relationship forming in front of my eyes but I can't forget that yeah, there's someone there on the outside and I don't agree with it because I've been in that person's shoes before. So it's not like I'm dumb mm -hmm. and I don't know what's right and what's wrong. Yeah so I don't know how you want to leave it or where you think we can go from here if we can go I don't know what are your thoughts? I don't know. I don't know where to go from here. We've sorted it out, mm -hmm. talked about it. Hopefully you're not holding anything now. Yeah. Um, I feel like I see everything. Yeah. <laughs> Leo's finally got his torso hairless. It's taken him nearly 20 minutes. Leo's just had a close shave with his razor. He's about to have another with a masked man. <laughs> yeah. Kelly, Kelly. Ned and Kelly, Ned and Kelly. That's it, I think. Go ahead. Why are you so Jesus? <laughs> oh, 
Jason Horamar. It's been done. Voting lines are now closed and votes are being verified. Coming up on Big Brother 2, evictions and the housemates have no idea. One of them is a big fat fake. Mates, who would you kiss? Who would you marry? <laughs> and who would you evict? Uh, kiss? Um, um, let me think. We've already sort of been there um, through a mistake of my own, so that would be Kat. Um, I would marry Sandra. I think I would evict Priya. I'd kiss Baby H. I'd uh, marry Ryan and I'd evict Lawson. Well, I'd obviously kiss Aisha and hopefully I'm kissing her at our wedding um, and I'd like to evict Lawson. Ryan, because he'd be dirty, and marry Lawson because he's weird and strange and I'd probably need that ongoing. Um, and I'd probably evict Travis because he's just too tiring for me. Um, I would kiss Ryan, I would marry Sam and I would evict Travis. I would probably kiss Ryan, I would marry Sky or Travis. And who would I evict? If I had to evict anyone, it would be Kat. So Big Brother can look forward to the triangular nuptials between yourself, Sky and Travis. <laughs> That's right. And perhaps you can... Uh... I'll officiate. Thank you. Thank you. It's a date. Done. <laughs> Live, where tonight our range of evictions comes in both real and totally fake. Now, this week's task sees the housemates turning their talents to radio, and it's Sam's turn to try being a different kind of jock. This is Big Brother World Service. Where housemates talk, the world listens. Nice song. This is Big Brother. Big Brother. Sam, to the Big Brother World Service studio. It's Sam's shift at the Big Brother World Service radio station. And he's the weatherman. Yeah. Wish me luck. Okay. <sighs> nice. World weather. Because no matter where you go, the weather's there. Ah, hello and welcome to the world weather. I wish it was always sunny, but it's not always sunny. My name is Sam, the weatherman, and here is the weather. Over in Barcelona, uh, we've got morning clouds, clearing by lunchtime with temperatures of 28 degrees, and in France, haha, -ha, swapping over to there, in Paris, a hot and sunny 26 degrees. That's not too bad, actually, for Paris. Hey, you know, yesterday when I was, we were talking, I was like, about the palm reading, and I like, got that up, I was like, oh, you know, like... <laughs> yeah. Saying, oh, yeah. You look pretty. Thank you. That's what I was doing. I was like, work out, cold shower, make myself look pretty. I don't really think we for ages. Mm. But, um, yeah, I just felt like looking pretty today. Um, well, you look pretty most days. Yeah, you do. Most. Yeah, don't get carried away, Kat. No, I'm going to get a big head. <laughs> Bath time. Bed time. Fun time. My time. It's everybody's favourite time. It's Little Brother's story time. Hi, kids. I'm Sky. G'day, little champions, and I'm David. So what Sky and myself are going to do right now is go through the alphabet A to Z and talk about all the things that are in the Big Brother house with examples for each letter. OK, so starting with A. A is for AstroTurf, where the dogs should go to the toilet, but they don't. B is for Big Brother, our great and fearful leader. C. Cups of coffee, which the housemates love to enjoy in the mornings. D is for the diary room, where we tell our deepest secrets to the big man. E is for eviction, and we all get very sad that one time of the week when, we, when one of us has to go. Hey. Hey, sexy. And what do you think of New Girl? How are you finding her? Um, I think I'm still early days. Like, very early days. I, I haven't really had any 
issues, yep. so to speak. Like, I think it's hard to judge. It's quite early in the piece, but I think she definitely, like she said at the table, she wants to bring out sides of people that haven't been yeah. seen. I think that's definitely... Did you get, like, you know, you said you haven't... I know in, you learn a lot about people in their one-on-one -on -one situations. What about when you're in the parlour and things like that? Was she, um, was she getting involved? Was she standoffish? Uh, the word would, for her would be inquisitive. Yeah, I do mm -hmm. feel like I don't have close girlfriends in here. No? Why? I don't know. Just not really kind of girls in here. Yeah. Are yeah. Oh, they're yeah. lovely, but... Yeah, they're lovely. Yeah. And I'm quite impatient in here. I expect these massive connections to occur mm -hmm. when I've only known these people for 30 mm -hmm. days. Um, and I think that brings it home that I really miss having, like, close people to me in here. And I'm questioning her motive behind the one-on-one -on -one conversations. Yeah. Is she just trying to learn something new about us or is she trying to cause a divide, separate people and things like that? I don't know. Yeah. No one comes between our family but us. Exactly. I <laughs> oh, no, you're family now. Yes! You're, <laughs> you're not the intruder. You're not the intruder. I'm in! Who would you miss the most out of this week's nominees? Um, uh, that's a, an easy one for me. I would miss Lawson the most. Um, Why is that? Um, because I just feel so comfortable around him. We have fun together, we have a laugh together. Um, from the very start, I've been able to be myself around him and because I've been open about how I feel, that sometimes puts him in an, in an uncomfortable spot. So um, I think it would be easier for everybody if those feelings went there, myself included, but I can't change the way I feel. I, I can't, as much as I try and stop it, I can't. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, Big Brother is about to throw the housemates one massive curveball. The fake eviction is happening next. Yeah, but if you look at social media, which runs the world, what matters on social media? Attractive people. 100% correct. But if you're ugly like Mark Zuckerberg and you create Facebook, it doesn't matter. Attractive people keeps it ticking. Humans of your New York, you never heard of them. Miranda Kerr, yeah, heard of her, I followed her. Do you know what I mean? Hit 9jumpin.com.au forward slash big brother. We're live while the show's on air. So chat, share and get clicking. Welcome back everyone. We are live and big brother is just moments away from playing a giant eviction-sized trick on the unsuspecting housemates. But first, real estate agent Jason wants to flex his professional muscle, but without any real property to sell, he's decided to do the next best thing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd ask you what has brought so many of you back here today? Jason's a professional auctioneer, and with the eviction looming, it could be his last chance to put the Big Brother house on the market. A house so famous, it is so easily recognisable. A sprawling estate set on 1.2 acres. At the auction is a motley crew of international buyers. It is an entertainer's home. So who among you will buy this iconic residence here today? I'll call now for an opening bidder offer. Start me away, ladies and gentlemen, at your disposal. Yes, sir. $100. $100, sir. So I appreciate the bid. You've just bought one of the pool tiles, so what I might do is make a bid on behalf of the vendor. Bids with me at $500,000 now. At $500,000 now, calling an increase there. Yes, sir. Five ten. dollars At five ten dollars now. Five fifty. dollars if you like. Five thirty. dollars we have. Yes, sir. $5.35. At five fifty five. dollars we're at 555, 575 five, if you like. Take it, 575. At 575, 850. So good bulk bid, that's how you buy. At 850,000 now. Perhaps get on the phone, have a chat to your husband there, ma'am. I know he couldn't make it. Yeah, she's got a 970. She's at 970 now. One million dollars. At one million dollars now, there's the bid at a million dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, I can call it now. We're on the market, we're playing for keeps. At a million dollars. I'm now at 100. At one million. is the bid first, second, third and final call at 
$1 million. We're done, finished, silent, no further bids or offers. So, congratulations, man! Thank you very much for coming along to a big Royal Real Estate Auction, man. You're very excited there. $1.1 million. Yes. A lot of money. A steal, Big Brother would say. <laughs> I think it was. But I've wanted to do one for everyone when I first got here. And then I just didn't want to, like, annoy anyone. But then I was like, if I go tonight or tomorrow night, I just wanted the guys to see sort of, like, what I do. So now I'm happy. So I definitely won't have any regrets. I would be so different if I didn't have a boyfriend, I reckon. 30-year-old nurse Marina has a boyfriend. She met him just before entering the house. Yeah. How different? In what ways? Would you...? I don't know. I think I would just be a bit... Well, I clearly wouldn't be talking about him. Would you be playing the game? When I say playing the game, I mean behaving, really. But would you be doing things very differently? Not very. Mm -hmm. Because I just, I just need to be very aware about mm. my... And closeness to the boys. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say the only thing that would really change is the way that you behave, I guess, around the boys. And, and mainly physically, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've resorted to the fact that I'm up every week, and I quietly love it. Do you? Travis is facing eviction for the fourth time, more than any other housemate. I would be proud if I was you. I would be proud of how many times you you've know, been saved. It's funny because all my mates are like, "You're that guy that will like be up every single week." <laughs> But you know the thing, like, because I've been up, I've, like, tried to, like, you know, take on board what people say, mm. which some, some things are valid, but from now on I'm just going to be myself. Yeah, well, you have been yourself. Yeah. Like, like, I'm not going to actually try to change for anyone or, like, I'm not going to, like, not do something because they might nominate me for mm. EG, have two coffees. Want to have two coffees? I'm having two coffees. <laughs> <laughs> Never ending here, but like I'd love a week off from noms, to be honest. Mm. Just so I'd then love you can be like, for all right, to be sitting like how I am. Chill. Mm. <laughs> you look but chill. I'm still nervous for you. But I know that you're going to be fine. Did Dave give you a haircut today? Inventing silly games to keep themselves entertained is a housemate favourite. You did not just do that. For this one, a cup tossed in the pool is retrieved using a deck chair. Lift the chair! Lift the goblet! Yes! <laughs> Jason, I dare you to throw this in the water. Be a part of the cool group. Oh, no, but... Now you gotta lie in it. Go get the chair. Go get the chair now. Where is the chair? Oh. I'll shoot in the position. Yes. Let's fish him out, boys. Shotty, go. Come on, Jake. Oh. 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 Okay. 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 Hold on. Okay. Hold on. 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 And what's about to happen is Big Brother at his duplicitous best. Australia has been voting and one nominee has received more votes to save than anyone else. Normally, we would save them. But tonight, they will be fake evicted to the sanctuary only to re-enter the game at a later stage. Mm -hmm. We're all in on it. And we're going to be playing it straight, so I need you all to play along, OK? Neither the evictee nor the other housemates can know that it's a fake. And because it's the most popular housemate who gets kicked out, it should come as a massive shock. So let's cross live to the house. Nice to meet you, Marina. Hi, thank you. 
good to be here. Welcome to Big Brother. How, how have your you. first few days in the house been? It's been a vivid dream that I haven't woken up from yet. Oh, a dream, not a nightmare. No, no, I've, uh, no it's, it's good to be here. It's been great. Yeah, the characters are fantastic and it's been full of colour. Has it been hard not to mention anything from the outside world? Have they been pumping you for information? and pieces, certain subjects, but no, I've kept it pretty, pretty straight face, I think. Good girl. All right, Sky. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you are the new head of house. I am. Do you like having the power? I do like having the power. Going into the sanctuary was amazing. With my girl, um, I haven't really had to do much as of yet, so we'll see. No makeup, Sky. No. Oh. <laughs> you look beautiful. Don't worry yeah. about it. Thank you. All right, housemates. I do have an announcement which you might not like so much. Some of you got dressed up last night thinking it was an eviction, right? Yeah. yeah. You were wrong. That's because tonight is a double eviction. Oh. And because it's a double, I'm not going to draw it out, so let's get into it. Whoa. 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 The two nominees with the least votes to save will be evicted, and we will announce one name right now, so here we go. Australia has voted and it's time to go. It's time to go. Travis! This is Big Brother, <laughs> Travis. You have been evicted. You have 30 seconds to leave the Big Brother house. <laughs> Housemates, make your way to the backyard. It's time to leave the house now via the eviction stairs. is a sham and that he's still in the game and he gets a visit from a very special guest. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Live Eviction Night. We have just fake evicted Travis and check it out. 
Everyone's in the backyard and they're always listening, right? So we need to do everything we would normally do if Travis had really been evicted. Okay, you up for it? So, please welcome evictee number six, Travis. And now, for one of the very best parts of my job, telling someone who thinks they're evicted that it's all a ruse and they are still in the game. So let's cross live and give Travis the good news. Hello, Travis. Hello. Hi, Trav. It's Sonia. Hello. How are you? Good, good. Would you like to take off your blindfold? Hello. Hello. Welcome to the sanctuary. Oh my God, this is amazing. I bet you're wondering why you're sitting there and you're not up here on stage with me. Oh, I hope I'm not evicted. Well, Travis, you haven't been evicted from the Big Brother house. Beautiful. Your eviction is a fake. Are you serious? I'm serious. Can I bring Aish here? No, you can't. And you have to be quiet, Travis. They can't hear oh. you, right? Okay. Okay. So now, why me? Why you? Well, I'll tell you why you, because in fact, you had the most votes to save. <laughs> I love you, Australia. So you are still very much in the game, Trav. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. How's Aish doing? Look, she was a little bit upset. That's all right. All right. Um, now, you are going to stay in the sanctuary for some time, Trav. It won't be a holiday. Yeah. You'll find out more shortly. But in the meantime, enjoy and remember... I don't, don't... know how to cook, Sonia. <laughs> we'll take... We'll get you some food, don't worry. But don't uh, make too much noise, because for this to work, the other housemates can have no idea that you are there. All right. No worries, Sonia. Good all seeing right. you. OK. See you soon. See ya. I love it when an evil plan comes together back to the house where with so many rules and regulations it's only natural that some of the more devious housemates would spend their time finding ways to beat the system. I'll show you how to unlock it. Big Brother unlocks the pantry door at his discretion. You come down from five and run into it. And he unlocks it. I'll go first. Yeah. Uh, but there is one housemate who has this special touch. This is an absolute load of crock. Five. Hard. You better run in hard. Five, four, three, two, one. Karina. I love those bikinis. I love your body. So that's one yellow thing. Yeah, that's one yellow thing. With Marina firmly established in the house, yeah, it was awesome, dude. The boys compare notes on what they think of her. Yeah, come into you later in the kitchen today. Do I intimidate you? Like, why? Yeah, yeah, she was like, no, because she was like, were you intimidated? And I was like, by what? She's like, because we were all looking at you through the window and we were talking about you. Do we intimidate you? Do you intimidate me? Do I intimidate you? No. Do, did we intimidate you? No. Why would I be intimidated? I don't know, because we were talking and staring at you. No, please. Who even are you? No, she's been nice to me. Like, she's, I think she's been nice to everyone. Who she said in the name? Well, no, and she even, she even, as she was like telling me, Aish, she was telling me, Aish was telling me, in the parlour. And she was like, I, I can't believe how attractive Travis is. Yeah. He's super attractive, though. He is, like, very, very attractive. Yeah, you look beautiful this morning. That night. <laughs> you do. Thank you. It was just real weird. I thought I was. Sky's been without makeup for a week as punishment for repeatedly not wearing her microphone. It's annoying, but 
Like, especially when I have to look at all you girls, you know, with your lipstick on. That's, like, my favourite thing. Mm. Lipstick and makeup. Sandra now has the chance to return Sky's makeup kit, but there's a catch. <laughs> what? What is this? Big Brother has a diary room dilemma for you. Oh my gosh. The house is on staples, so coffee is a precious commodity, especially for Sandra, who drinks six cups a day outside the house. Big Brother will allow you to take one of these items. Oh. Once you have made your choice, you must inform your fellow housemates of the items you had to choose between. I feel like the right thing to do is to take Sky's makeup, but so much coffee. <laughs> Sky got herself into this situation. No, nah, I'm taking a coffee, big brother. Yeah, yeah, Sandra. Oh, poor Sky. <laughs> Sandra now has to tell Sky what she's done. Oh my god! What, what is that? the so that's like, it's one kilo of ground coffee. So Where'd you get it from? I just got caught up to the diary room and I walked in. There was two things on the chair. One was the coffee was and one makeup. was Sky's makeup. And he said I had to choose between the two. Yeah, well, good. I'm really sorry. I don't care. I've survived this long. Yeah. <laughs> Sandra and Sky might have to find another way to make up. Now, fake evictee Travis has no idea. Former housemate Ben is about to join him in the sanctuary. What does Big Brother have in store for Travis? Ben is crashing his fake eviction after party right after this. This is Big Brother's live eviction night. Now, moments ago, Travis was evicted. Moments after that, he discovered his eviction wasn't real. And in a few moments from now, Ben will appear with a special task from Big Brother. So let's go live to the house and see what happens. This is Big Brother, Travis. Big you brother. received more votes to save than any other nominee. Therefore, you have been fake evicted from the Big Brother house. I'm sure you'll agree, Travis. This is M A S S I V. And I am feeling melancholy, Big Brother. <laughs> well, Travis, Big Brother has some good news and. Some more good news for you. That's good news to hear. Which would you like first? I'd like the more good news. Good choice. This week, the housemates will nominate as normal. And obviously, they have no idea that you are still in the game. OK. That means, for the first time, you will not be nominated next week. Now that is a good feeling, big brother, and only good. And there's more. Travis, Big Brother is handing you a special privilege that, if used correctly, will strengthen your chances of winning the Big Brother game. And what privilege might that be? You will spend several days here in the sanctuary. You will have time to reflect, time to assess whatever it is about your personality that keeps getting you nominated. But you will not be alone. OK, I will be with someone else. Travis, Big Brother has a very special present for you. What's that? Yoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm good. Oh, I'm 
Diamond Ben from Big Brother. Yes, Travis, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, you rough diamond. Oh my God, how are you? Give me a hug, mate. Oh, I bet you never ask. What's going on? I'm so happy to meet I you. I know, I'm happy to meet you too. I'm nervous because I've been watching you on the television. Yeah, don't be nervous. I feel like I'm a bit starstruck right now, oh, to be honest. No, don't be starstruck. No, I'm, I'm normal. I'm human. No, it's right. Maybe not normal, but I'm human. This oh. is Big Brother. Oh. Ben, welcome back. N nice to be back, Big Brother. Big Brother <laughs> hardly recognised you. Have you done something with your hair, Ben? I'm not wearing Bert's toupee, if that's what you mean. I see. Ben, as you know, Travis has been fake evicted. Something you're very familiar with. Yes, like that happened. You're fake evicted. That happened to me last year. Oh God, it's in how it feels. I've gone full circle. It's like the circle of life. <laughs> John song You'll be too. able to tell me what to do then, because right now I'm a bit ben mush. and Travis take a seat. Oh. In a few days' time, Travis will re-enter the Big Brother house. Oh. Ben, your job is to make sure he returns match fit. A Trav's formation, if you will. Mm. Ben, any thoughts on how you can achieve this? It sounds almost like Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, doesn't it? I reckon Big Brother's acting as if my game plan already is just not sound. No, because you, you've been up... Have you been up every... Every, every, every week. Well, look, I'm going to see what I can do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you some homespun wisdom from, from Mum and from Nana. Yeah. Travis, how does that sound to you? Oh, Ben's wisdom, I'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> the more wisdom up here, the more powerful I am. You're like, I wish I went home. <laughs> no, no way, mate. <laughs> well, we'll have a great time. We'll get involved, don't worry. Big Brother will allow you to get to work. Good luck, Ben. You may need it. <laughs> That's all. Thank you, Big Brother. Me, me and Big Brother have got a love hate relationship, if you didn't notice. We all do. Yeah. With Big Brother. <laughs> oh, God. It's so good to meet you. It's, Seriously. Well, I'm thrilled to meet you. And you want a drink before we start? Well, no, no I, I want to, because you, you know when you go to a party and, and there's presents and everything? I, I, you always want to do that before yeah, everything uh, else. Yeah, let's go. So I brought you like a, well, I get to know you present. So this is one of my favourite movies I thought we could watch. <laughs> yeah. I thought we could watch this. We can do it afterwards. <laughs> Joking. So the devil wears Prada. Yeah. And, and do, do you like Meryl Streep? Oh, I'll get to love her, I reckon. I was going to pick Sophie's Choice, but it's a little heavy. Nah, mate, this looks really good. Anne Hathaway is a bit of a bonus. Wow. It'll be uh, quite interesting to see if Ben succeeds in his My Fair Laddie experiment. After the break, Jason, Lawson, Priya, Sam or Sandra will be gone for good. Who will be saved when Big Brother's very unfake eviction gets underway next? <laughs> the real deal. Five nominees await their fate. Four will be saved. One will be tonight's genuine evictee. So let's cross live and find out who it is. Hi, Hi housemates. Hi. Hi. Firstly, Aisha, how are you holding up now Travis has been evicted? I think I'm still in shock, Sonia. I keep waiting for him to walk in the room, so... Still shaky at the moment. All right, chin up, chin up. All right, now, nominees. One word each to describe how you're feeling. Jason, go. Um, really, really, really nervous. That's a few one more than one, but that's OK. Lawson. <laughs> packing. I'm packing. Yeah, Priya. Packing. Stressed. Mm -hmm. Sam. Lawson. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Oh, ready, ready. Sandra. <laughs> she said... She said how, not who. I'm excited. <laughs> excited? Yeah. Okay. Well, Travis is out, but I do have some good news too. Four of you will be saved tonight. And I can now announce the identities of three oh, safe oh, nominees. These are in no particular order. Okay. One nominee who received enough votes to save them and will continue to play the game is... Oh, 
The second nominee who is safe and will not be going home tonight is... <laughs> also safe oh. and not going home tonight is Sandra yes. well done Sandra we're going to cast next to Sandy oh, yes for sure <clears throat> Hit us with it. So, Lawson and Sam. You've only got one leg. <laughs> In a few moments, one of you will become tonight's evictee. Australia has voted, and one nominee received less votes to save than all the others, which means. It's time to go. It's time to go. Sam. Don't we stand up, guys? <laughs> This is Big Brother. Sam, <laughs> you have been evicted. You have 30 seconds to leave the Big Brother house. I'll be with Travis tonight. Oh, my goodbye video is so shit. Such a good place to meet you. I'm glad. Let me take Jim Pellis. Definitely. Oh, you. I haven't even said goodbye to you yet. Have I forgotten anyone? Absolutely. It's time to leave the house now. No. 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 Well, Sam is out, and his eviction couldn't be more real. He joins us on stage right after this. I'm actually a, a, a leg amputee. You can actually come and feel how hard I am. Oh. Yeah, I was a bit sceptical of him at first because he's only got one leg. Does it feel different? <laughs> I'm joking. Do you reckon he changes the stock? This one's like every day. That's just like a sport one. So, do you still wear your stock in there? Yep. Can I touch it? Is of course it okay? You can. No, that's no, all carbon fibre, <laughs> so it's all like. And one. <laughs> Life has been difficult without, you know, a leg as you agree, Sam. Yeah, absolutely. You know, life's one of those things about getting back on the horse and just giving it all you've got. People who want to give you grief about it, they don't have a leg to stand on because, I mean. <laughs> At the end of the day, say, it's... Look, look, just hop back on that horse. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, we've been out on the town and we've got legless so many times. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you. We're very excited to meet you. Now, you received a lot of votes, Sam. Um, you received a lot of votes, but unfortunately you just missed out. So do you want to have a look at the voting? Yeah, definitely. Okay. See, there you are on 7% down the bottom. Yep. Just above you, someone on 9%. Who do you think that is? Oh, it's that Jason guy. I know it. Let's reveal it. Sandra. Sandra. Oh, she oh. wasn't far ahead of you at all. Then on 13%, who do you think? Uh, I'd probably throw in Law's dog. Let's have a look. Yeah. Lawson. 16%. Uh, yeah, let's go Jace now. <coughs> Jason, okay. Priya. And uh, Priya there, 18%. Um, my mind's running a million mi miles an hour. Who's left? Who else is left? <laughs> um, um, uh, what do Jason. you guys reckon? Jason. Yeah, let's go Jason now. Yeah, I'm just okay. saying. There we go. Do you notice any, anything strange about that graph? Um, yeah, it's Travis. Where's Travis? So what's happening there? Well, let's have a look. 37%, massive vote. That's Travis. Mm -hmm. Travis received the most votes to save, and his eviction was a fake. All oh, right. <laughs> well, that's going <laughs> well, to make Asia happy, definitely. <laughs> He's in the sanctuary right now. Oh, Asia's yeah, in the Yeah, we can see him in there. Let's have a look. There he is. There's Travis. In the sanctuary. <laughs> He's actually going to return to the game soon after receiving some expert guidance from a former housemate, Ben, from Brisbane. All right. Which will be hilarious. <laughs> Why do you think Travis was the most saved? Um, I mean, the energy that radiates from the guy. I mean, he keeps us all on our feet, or in my case, my foot. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, look, it was a lot of energy for me to handle. I like sort of, like sort of sitting back with everyone and having a slower um, sort of day, but he was as fast ta pace, boom, 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 and I can see how that'd be exciting for everyone. I mean, he was exciting, that's for sure. Yeah. Let's talk about some of your relationships in the house, because the most significant one was probably with Sandra, and it wasn't without its complications. So let's have a look. Yeah, cool. I am most grateful for Sam in this house. I've made a really good friend for life there with Sam, and um, I know that he's got my back. How hard does Lawson want this 3K? Cookies are still on their way. Thank you very much. <laughs> Seriously, he's got a man crush on you. You see it, don't you? Yeah. Lawson yeah. absolutely adores you. Oh, uh, actually, watch out for Sam. If I had to guess, I'd say Sam's sceptical of me. Yeah, he is sceptical of you. I think he's in here for number one. It's all about his body. It's all about how much protein he can eat. I just find his demeanour quite aggressive um, when it comes to arguments and debates. The irritable things were that she didn't listen. The only one that wasn't open and patient was her. Now I'm reflecting on the relationship with David. He's turning ugly. I definitely know there's an alpha group here. Who do you think the alpha group is? Sam, Sandra and Ryan. So that wasn't about you and Sandra, that was about you and your relationship with the other housemates. And you and Lawson had different ideas about your friendship there, didn't you? Talk us through it. Well, it was, I got put on the spot part. I mean, I quite liked Lawson, uh, my relationship. I mean, the guy's a weirdo just like me, so that's where we really bonded over that. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, I mean, I, everything that he did was entertaining from start to finish. All right. I definitely liked having that guy around. Let's have a look now at your relationship with Sandra. Right. I don't think I even have words. So awkward and couples. I, don't, I think I don't even have words to like describe how much I love Sam. I feel like if he wasn't in here, then my experience would be so much less than it is. Oh. That's what nice. Yeah. Really? Mhm. Mm the Sandy and Sam thing is like she really likes him. Do you she told you? Oh, did she tell you? Oops. <laughs> You're always gonna be someone else's. Honestly, I don't think he's attractive. Wrong. Really? I'm going to be a friend no matter what, but this will be damaging for everyone, including myself, if I brought her in here. In my eyes, I'm not doing anything wrong mm. and haven't crossed the line. Mm -hmm. And he's constantly said, if you make me feel uncomfortable, we cross the line. And of course, I'll tell you, but you haven't. Plutonicness is something that I believe heavily in. And even in here with Sandra, we flirt around the idea of like hooking up and whatever, but plutonicness is something that works with us and that's something that we'd stick with. I definitely had a massive crush on Sam when we first got to know each other, but I'm definitely glad that we're past that stage. And now I just see Sam as my rock. <laughs> Sam the rock. <laughs> yeah. So Sam, how did you feel when you found out that Sandra had feelings for you? Um, look, 
I heard a couple of times, and it was at, at the start a little bit overwhelming. It was, you know, because we have such an amazing relationship, I didn't want to be damaged, but I knew that she never would. Um, she respected my relationship with Michaela and, and uh, what it would do to the house if she were to act on anything. And um, I never had to tell her that it was uncomfortable because she never crossed that line. Awesome. All right, well, coming up next, all of Sam's highlights, and we get his take on the most surprising moments in the house. <laughs> This is Big Brother's live eviction, the fake evictee. Travis is still in the house, but joining me right now is tonight's real evictee, Sam. Now, Sam, each week, members of the public are given a chance to ask you anything they want. They submit their questions through Nine Jump In, and tonight's KFC Home Viewer question is from Ross, and he wants to know, are you planning on competing in the next Paralympics? Absolutely. Uh, it's the uh, 2016... Uh, yeah, so the 2016, uh, you know, the uh, Paralympics over in Brazil, so you can't turn, turn down a trip Rio. over there. Um, but it won't be in swimming, it'll be in paratriathlon, so a new sport. Fantastic. <laughs> new sport, love it. Thank you. Now, we know that you are a straight talker, so we have prepared a slideshow of various moments from the house, and we want to get your thoughts on each one, OK? You ready? Cool. Yeah, let's do it. This is new, I hope it works. Here we go, first picture. That's my little clicker. Oh, that's you. There it is. Straight into the house for the first time. What were you thinking? Ah, uh, freaking out. But uh, Pat, we, we were confused. We didn't know if we were going in as like in a, as a relationship to fool oh, everyone. Oh, okay. Uh, so so there was confusion at the start. Try there. and work it out. Next slide, please. Oh, now there's um, Katie and Priya with the cash. You had a few issues with them about the money, didn't you? Well, the one that I brought up was about the... Uh, they left out one vital piece of information that came out of the kitty. And now they were honest about everything else, and that was fine, but they just left that one bit out. The and when they prize pool. Yeah. So mm. when they came out uh, that it was from the overall prize pool, it just ca ca uh, caused a little bit of unease and dishonesty there. Yeah, but well, you let them know, which I thought yeah. was good. OK, let's go. Next slide. Thank you. OK, now this is the moment when Sandra tells you you will always be someone else's. That's an interesting face you've got going there. What is that face? And can you do it again? <laughs> um, Very good. Yeah, no, again, just uh, that was one of the moments where I saw there was a little bit more uh, sort of feelings there on Sandra's behalf. But I think that was just at the start. I mean, mm. um, you know, she was definitely struggled a little bit and uh, I guess I provided with a little, uh, friendship just as she did to me, so... Yeah. Good work. All right, next slide. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> you haven't seen this one, have you? Um, not that one, no. No, no. <laughs> that's Leo and Sandra kissing in the spa. Oh, wait, on an eye. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But you weren't there when that happened. Not, oh, yeah, I, was, I think I was hopping around somewhere. In my <laughs> but I was around the spa somewhere. All right, what about this one? One of my favourites. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Uh, that's my boy doing the naked chicken. The nude chicken. Mm, it's lucky you didn't get the angle from the other way. I mean, such a thing, enough. hasn't it? Next slide, please. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not supposed to be. No, no, no. That's not supposed to be. Hang on, hang on. That's not. I didn't even know that. Can we just cut that? Cut that right there. That's good. Now, Sam, you are. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> You are a force to be reckoned with. You stayed true to your troublemaking self and we loved you for that. So let's have a look at your highlights. Here's a look at your time in the house, thanks to KFC. How are you going? Good to see you. Being here, it's incredibly fun. Yes! Like I'm having so much fun with everyone. Hi Chloe. Hey, hey Chloe. Hello. <laughs> and the best thing about it is how we can just really open up with each other. That's what I'm really, really enjoying. Sam, 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 Sam. <laughs> He's just a big kid. Look, he's got one leg and he's just such a positive guy. This has been so much fun. Yeah, this, this is the most fun I've had. Same. Sam. Samantha. It's surreal. It really is surreal. Yeah. And it's <laughs> probably twice as intense as I thought it would actually be. Did you guys know that this money is out of the final prize money? You pocketed cash, like at the end of the day. So like, thanks, it's a bit rich. I refuse to have a conversation with that Sam guy in there. The housemates facing eviction this week are, with six points, Sam. Because I hadn't been nominated the previous weeks, I thought, OK, it will be coming, so I was prepared for it. From this experience, you know, I've made some great friends and I've had a great time, so if I go, I've won either way. I can't even describe how amazing I think he is. He's really sweet, he's kind, he's caring, he's so, so funny. 
and I just see Sam as one of my best friends and will be one of my best friends forever. Ooh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this experience has far surpassed my expectations. Cheers. I've had an absolute ball in here. Yeah, no way I'll forget this experience, nor will it ever be replicated for the rest of my life. Australia and KFC agree. Your experience has been so good. Oh, yeah. A surprise for you. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. As a reward for being such a legend in the house, appliances online online.com.au are giving you a five thousand dollar voucher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And Sam, I just want to say that we feel very honoured to have had a gold medal winning champion and a recipient of the Medal of the Order of Australia in the Big Brother House. Best of luck for Rio. Come up here, take a bow. Yeah, Ladies you. and gentlemen, Sam. <laughs> thank you very much. What a crazy night. One real eviction and one fake. Don't miss tomorrow night's live nomination show. How will Leo nominate on his first time? Who will face eviction? And what power play awaits Head of House Sky? Plus all the highlights from new odd couple Ben and Travis. Remember, you can head to dreamworld.com.au for tickets to our live shows. I'm Sonia Cooper. I'll catch you tomorrow. The home of Big Brother. This is Big Brother. Big Brother on NBN.